Hello people, what is going on? We are back with another video today, basically just explaining what is going on in our reptile room. Now there's a few things we want to talk about in the video, so what we're going to do is just run through what has changed, just to keep you guys up to date, and then basically we can see about other embarrassing things that still haven't been done. Like the Winnie the Pooh wallpaper. But we are getting to that and we have changed quite a lot, especially over this side of the room and moving a few things about storage units, bits and bobs like that. So um, yeah, let's get into it. So just finished work for the day and we've basically had a little shift around. So firstly, what we've done is bought another storage unit box thing. So we've got these two up here like that and we've got these guys here. And then this unit was obviously stacked on top and it is now not, which is great because you were losing half of the window light and natural light is good. Obviously we've got some rubbish on the floor because I just kicked it and we have got a tank coming for this spot here as well. And we've also got a new extension lead. Instead of four, we're going to be installing one with ten. So that means we'll be able to get lights finally for the Madagascans. Um, and obviously we've now got to rearrange all of these storage or sort of um, rack and system bits because we have loads of bits and bobs up here like uh, Mantis who you guys keep going on and on about for an update so I'm just going to do a whole Mantis video and give you an update same with this little guy just here we've got our spider down there our curly hair tarantula some must have equipment in the reptile room a monster that's also part of the must have equipment box of live food loads of different stuff crickets and f fruit flies and wax worms and all sorts and some little food dishes so i'm just going to sort out this if it will focus and we've also got the scorpion down there on the floor um so yeah we've got a little bit to sort out but hopefully everything will look back to normal pretty soon or right about now. There we go. That is all done and dusted. I just noticed that they're slightly out of place, which is really annoying. There we go. Right, so this is basically just temporary. So instead of the Madagascans being down at the bottom here, we've now put that glass back in and they are up here. And then this, over time, will move to this unit here and then this empty spot will house the morning geckos which will sit on top of here and then we've got a little bit of extra room there this snake tank is going to be upgraded and extended from here all the way across right to the very end so that whole shelf is just going to be snake vivarium and then obviously, like I say, morning geckos on there, Madagascans moved over. And other than that, you've got the mantises and the spider, you've got the scorpion, all of the main utensils that we need, scissors, metal tongs, wooden tongs, tweezers, UV torch to find our Asian forest scorpion, snake stick, scissors and a heat gun, and a snake bag at the back just in case. Top uh, Shelf above is empty at the minute. We've got kitchen roll because we use kitchen roll for absolutely everything as you reptile keepers know. This shelf we've got our live food of food and um, loads of other food that we give the Madagascans which they love baby food. We've got um, custodial fuel, got poo bags, got what is it? Rapashi Pangea, that thing over there, you know what it is. Our live food tub and some other little spare boxes with some bacteria wipes at the top there. So that is basically our two racking systems which obviously were stacked on top and like I say now instead of losing that light there what we're going to do now is just get rid of this slight damp which is forming across here. Make sure that is all gone, get some proper stuff to get rid of that maybe remove these neck curtains and get some half decent blinds um, ones which will let the light in still because that is why we obviously half that to expose that to get more light from it so um, yeah get some of them done and then on to the main thing which everybody goes on about 
this is coming down, don't panic, but I need you guys to help decide what should go there. Should we remove everything from the room and paint it, because that seems like a lot of hassle, or shall we just wallpaper it again? I think remove it and wallpaper it with something cool, kind of reptile related, um, and other than that, yeah, that is basically it. We've still got a few little bits to put away still, little bits and bobs, Hetty the Hoover over there, but other than that, Frog's having a bath, having a wash, he needs feeding, might get a little clip of him feeding, I'll quickly show you how we store our live food, and yeah, see what else Now, I'm just going to get some live food out and see if Frog will eat in the water, not that he normally does, but we'll try him, because you never know, we'll try him with a locust, because they seem to be his favourite, and um, see how he gets on with one of these. We just got to get it out of the tub. If I can get it out of the tub. Does he want it? No? Maybe he's not hungry. Oh, um, yeah, it's not really where you're meant to be going, Locus. No, nope, he's not eating, that's fine. So, that guy didn't really want to eat, but fair enough, I'm just going to leave him to have a bath. Nobody likes being disturbed while they're in the bath, do they? No. So, coming over to here, basically, quick little video, or clip, this is how we keep our live food. So we have one main tub, this main tub has crickets in, as you can see there, and we put them in with the egg cartons that they come in. We have a little water dish there for them from the spider shop, which is obviously made for spiders, which is good for them, which means they can't drown in it. We've got some corn down there, which they love to eat. And then obviously we've got everything in one tub just obviously because ease of use so when we want to use something everything is in this tub we have two packs of fruit flies some other fruit flies here I can never get fruit flies where I'm from so I picked up these and didn't realise that I could get these two from another shop so I ended up getting both anyway that's a bit boring <laughs> so we've got Mario worms which obviously are these guys here <laughs> Which obviously are them. Oh, I'm not even filming. Which are these guys? Which I'm gonna hopefully give my mantis in a minute. We've got wax worms in here. Don't really know what I'm showing you, but wax worms in here, as you can see there. And then all we've got here is just standard mealworms. And then we've got our locusts, which are basically like hoppers. If you're from the US, I know you don't have locusts as such. But yeah, so hoppers, crickets, fruit flies, mealworms, Mario worms, and wax worms. So that is our live food tub. Obviously, that is not including frozen food, which is all downstairs. But yeah, as far as live food goes, that is basically everything we've got all in one tub. Now, hopefully... Without our mantis flying off and attacking us, he will go for a wax worm. Uh, a Mario worm. Oh, there we go. Oh, he's missed it. Okay, now he's just eating the paper or the mesh. Let's try again. Um, oh. There we go. And as you can see, this is our mantis who, as you can see perfectly here actually, has only got one eye, so he's only got his right eye. 
his left. When I got him as a youngster, you could actually never notice it because of the size of him. But as he started to grow up, I've just come to realise that he's not had a pupil where it should be. And it's never really affected him. I mean, you can see he's a little bit sort of missing with his strokes, but that is kind of normal to an extent. But um, it doesn't really affect him, it doesn't bother him. He still climbs upside down. I don't know if you just heard that splash in the background, but that was a frog jumping out of his bath like an absolute whale. There he is again. Let's quickly try and film him. Absolute fatty. Yep, I've got to change that now. Thanks a lot. So this guy is still eating the Moria worm, um, we kind of got a time lapse of him, but we're still getting used to the camera on time lapse, so we kind of got one, I'll try and put it in, but if not it obviously didn't go very well. So we're going to put him back, probably feed the ghost mantis which is there, and then what else have we got to do, I don't know, let's see. So the mantis is now finishing off his meal, got to feed this little guy, we fed the spider the other night. The frog didn't eat and it's still going nuts, but I bet if I defrost a pinky, he will take one of them. We've also got to get some food out for our sneaky snake who's in there. But other than that, basically that's all we kind of wanted to do, is just show you a little update, show you what's what. It's good that we'll hopefully be able to see these guys a bit more once I actually get around to cleaning the glass. Obviously we told you about the plans from there to there. And other than that, just a few other bits. We put the glove on the wall finally. We put Duke, our own pet mantis, who sadly passed away on the wall as well. Um, same with the skull that we got from Dead Set Co. And this, I wouldn't say made, because there weren't a lot of making, but we've done this ourselves. This is actually our shed from our snake, which I'll just show you down there. That is actually his shed. So all I've done is just went to the range, got a frame and just tried to neaten it up as much as I could and place it into a frame. So yeah, that's up as well. We've also got all of our other bits up now, like our centipede and bits and bobs, the bat, the snake again from Dead Set Co. Full focus, there you go. That looks pretty cool. But um, yeah, like I say, we've got all the sticker frames done. Just got to complete this last one. But other than that, that basically covers our little update video and also before we actually move this guy across we actually have a ledge to mount the camera so when we want to talk we can like this oh yeah look at the shirt as well animals over people Tyler Noland you should know actually that brings me to one of the questions of the day obviously I'm wearing Tyler Noland's shirt animals over people if you could sort of collaborate or not collaborate because not all of you do youtube but if you could meet one reptile or animal youtuber who would it be and why drop them in the comments down below mine i personally think would probably be tyler noland or maybe one of the other boys out in florida because they're doing some absolutely crazy stuff out there but yeah for me tyler noland what about you let me know down below as you can see here, all of the Madagascan hissing cockroaches. Now, I personally give them this. This is a bit of a random clip, by the way, but I know I forgot something, and this was what I forgot. So, yeah, I give them baby food, and what I do is I just squirt a little bit here, there, and everywhere, and they soon take to it. They absolutely love it. And I'll show you in a minute when they're surrounding it all. And as you can see just there, it did not take long at all. You got this little guy absolutely munching on it. 
and them little beetles there in case you were wondering they're mealworms that I've chucked in because they obviously pupate and turn into beetles and over time they do help clear some of the leftover uneaten food from the Madagascans believe it or not they do leave food but yeah they love that you've got this guy over here as well them guys are tucking in if my shadow doesn't get in the way um, and the guys over there as well but yeah I absolutely love this stuff they go nuts look at this look little babies just come out of nowhere and just nipped in and started tucking in but yeah you help yourself buddy see if we can get one to hiss no this guy will down here no everyone's happy yep no hisses today but um yeah so oh look that little baby that's come out of the crack well not the crack but the crevice munching away see they're all hiding up until this comes out but um yeah i put a little bit in here as well i'll give them some fresh veg and greens but other than that they enjoy loads of different flavors of this this one is actually carrot but like i say they have a massive range and as you can tell they absolutely love it guys so we've just got a little notification pop up at the top to say we're running out of storage on this memory card and yeah so we're basically going to wrap it up here we've basically covered everything we need to anyway but a little bit of a quick outro today other than that thank you for watching i hope you have enjoyed the video stay tuned with us hit the subscribe button and see what else we've got to bring to this reptile room in 2021 because it's going to be a lot of cool stuff so other than that, like I said, thanks again for watching and I'll see you next week with another video.